Deep Muted Thoughts by Cooch Okay. Oh, yep. You can hear me now. All right. Darn it. I thought I had my microphone fixed. I was so excited. And yep, obviously it is not fixed. Thank you for letting me know. Definitely. Um, not, not even though because of a brain fart. I just thought it was fake. Damn. Oh, let me see here. Give me just a sec to get myself resituated. Because I am back to uh, using both devices. How did I have this before? There we go. Then. Let's go. All right, there we go. There we go. Much better. Okay, much, much better. Are you guys still here? All right, let me start saying hi to everybody again. Hey, JoJo, I hope you have safe travels today. Good morning, Brooke. Hey, YB. Um, just a sec. All right. Anyway, um, hey, Lean. Hey, Graceland. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Colonel Mustard with the rope in the chat. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Lean. Toya, good morning. Good afternoon. Hey, PMR. Hey, Kelly All Day. Kelly All Day, thank you so much. <laughs> I really, I thought my mic was fixed. So annoying. Hey, April. Hey, Cree. Hey, Sarah. Stacy, hello. PMR Cats Rule. Hi, ladies. Hey, Angie G. Oh, so the reason I had originally gone early was because I was um, wanting to play some songs today. So I was Googling something and reminding myself that the other day I did not play uh, The Devil Went Down to Georgia when John went to Angela's. And so I want to make up for that today, but I'm playing a cover version of it. Um, the cover version is very rock and roll, alt rock, but very rock. Um, by a band called Primus. So hopefully you guys like this version and I'm going to play it and then we're going to get started. Hopefully everybody hears me. Hey, Maria. Hey, Siriana. Okay, let me share the screen. The video is pretty out there too, but I'm going to show the video because it's like, it's like an out there cartoon. This young man saw on a fiddle and playing it hot And a devil jumps up on him to stump Boy, let me tell you why Yes, you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too 
And if you care to take it there, I'll make a bet with you. You play a pretty good fiddle, son, but give the devil his due. I bet I'm fiddling gold against you, so I think I bet it in you. Boy, sir. My name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet, and you're gonna regret I'm the best it's ever been. Johnny, run up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Just help the blues in your dad, the devil deals with cards. And if you win, you get this shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. And said, I'll start this show. Fire flew from his fingertips as he rosined up the bow. He dragged the bow across the strings and it made an evil hiss. Then a band of demons joined in and it sounded something like this. Said, we are pretty good, old son. But sit down in that chair right there and let me show you how it's done. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. The devil's in the house with the rising sun. That chicken in the red band picking out dough. Granny, does your dog bite no child blow? Switch my volumes, or there's going to be feedback. And move to that. Hey, everybody that came in, thank you so much for humoring me. I know that was a lot uh, this early in the morning for some of you, if you're, especially if you're on the West Coast. And you had to listen to all that. But I love, I love Primus. I love that version. I couldn't believe. I'm so mad I forgot about it when it was uh, more appropriate for my stream. <laughs> but that was um, The Devil Went Down to Georgia by Primus. And let's see what came in. Pick Me High Vault. Hello. Nancy, hello, Jendi, hi. Hey, April. Hey, Gina Marie. Petty AF, hello. Hey, Daisy girl. Hey, Pippi. Hey, Irish Lass. Oh my gosh, a four-day trip to Florida. That sounds heavenly. 
I'm going to Florida in a few weeks, I think. I haven't really started arranging it, but I think I need to get on that. <laughs> oh, let's see. So, today we are just going over the last 45 minutes of the stream where John went on Siwa's panel. I put out a short the other day, oh my gosh, where Siwa had more views on this interview than John had had on his last a uh, couple of streams at the time. You know, I think, did I play that the other day? I should play it now. I should just play that now. In fact, if you guys see, I've got another one. If you, um, Where's the one I'm going to play? Is down a little bit. There it is. But I've got, I just released uh, this John Yates I'm Sorry one. And I've got another one I'm going to put out um, after today's video. But right now I want to, uh, pull, wait a minute, was it this one? Here it is, this one. Okay, now why can't I hear anything? Hey, Ringo. So, right here, the Wonder Blogger, uh, I cannot believe he put that out. Like, he was so intoxicated. It wasn't, wasn't a good look. But his Wonder Blogger had 1.1 views at the time. And then his Happily Ever After premiere, season premiere, had 1.3K. And Siwa's video of interviewing him had uh, 1.9. I can't hear that. Can you guys hear that? Uh, let's see. Why couldn't I hear that? Oh, wait. Oh, because I didn't share the damn tab. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's try this again. So, yeah. Uh, Siwa's video of um, her talking to John had almost 2,000 views, and see uh, John's Wonder Blogger, which he should be embarrassed by because he seems heavily uh, intoxicated. Um, that one got 1 1.1, and then the Happily Ever After season premiere got 1.3. Um, I want to see, hey, Tracy. I want to see where these videos are at right now. See how do I? Let's go to this one. Yeah, I started by searching for a "You're So Vain" cover. Anyway, um, So those same two videos have Wonder Blogger is at 1.3. And his Happily Ever After premiere is at 1.5. So see what is still beating him on those two videos. Now, the next two uh, streams that he did, he's tied with her basically. So I still consider that a huge loss, considering he's got um, almost 40,000 subscribers. His sub count is at 39.4.
So he's like just under 600 away from 40K. And Siwa is getting more views on him <laughs> than he gets on himself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I mean the the irony of his bestie, Siwa, uh making money off his name. <laughs> Cheers, Siwa. <laughs> She's so dumb. Uh Jules, see, Jules, Jules was really trolling him the other night. And that's what my um, short is um, going to be today when it comes out. I'm also working on a pre-record video that I'm about three quarters of the way done with. So I've got a, a few things I worked on all weekend. But let's go to, did I not share this tab? I have issues not sharing tabs. So at least you guys heard me. <laughs> you can see his uh, Happily Ever After premiere it is at 1,500 views. And his Wonder Blogger is at 2.09 views. Let's see really quick if he monetized. This twelve thousand view person viewed video on on the um, untimely death of the brown child. Oh, he didn't monetize it. Wow, he did not monetize it. Right, John? Or right, YB? Oh my gosh. Why well, I mean, I'm so sorry. Hey health. He's so gross. He loves to talk about the whole number two of it all. Like I think that might be his favorite subject. Why? And why do all these old women like it? And yes, I'm an old woman too. I don't like it. So when I say old women, I'm I'm in the old women category, but I don't like it. Why do you all? And not you all in here, because I know you all don't either. <laughs> How you doing, pick me? No, no, no. Nobody. And it's just, it's just not a, there's nothing about talking about that that is, ah, yuck. Yuck, yuck. Um, yeah, that live, I didn't watch most of it, but the first few minutes was really funny because Jules was trolling him really hard. And that's what my um, short is. Maybe I'll give you guys a sneak peek. If you guys promise that when the short comes out, you guys will go in and like it, um, then I'll give you a sneak peek. And I'm just going to assume that all of you are promising me that. <laughs> okay, let me pull that up. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, was it in one of these other tabs? Let's see. Play. Thank <laughs> you. 
I did it again. I didn't share the tab. You guys. Oh, this is worse. Than <laughs> oh, my goodness. Seriously, I cannot. How did I not? Just a sec. Pause and share. Wait to pause and then I'll share. All right, pause. All right. Now I cannot believe. Here we go. Let me also. Here we go. That's easy. I know, I know, but you lazy, know. pure lazy. No, um, apparently and, you, made it, you made it out to get whatever made your eyes red. Oh, well, that was for a couple days ago. So, um, and also, you know, I'm, I'm suffering from allergies. These are all antihistamines, which I said on the last slide. So, okay. Um, See, eyes red. Eyes are just you're, you're confusing my eyes with my shirt. I'm wearing a beautiful pink uh, polo. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, pink and red are two different colors. But like you know, different like hair. I have like you know the. Hi, I'm John. Oh, oh, look, oh, look, Cody. <laughs> That is crazy. Hi, I'm John. Hi, you're Tally. It's Hi. a North Easter. It is a North Easter. Hi, I'm Tally. <laughs> well, the, the operative thing here is the bloodshot eyes. Um, eyes are not bloodshot, thank you. Um, Why, did you put my zine in? Oh, I have contacts here. <laughs> I use my zine contacts. Lord. Hi, I'm Tally. I'm going to get thrown on the bus on my own show. <laughs> oh, that bus coming on my own panel. Like, look at that. <laughs> Listen, I've been very vocal. It's allergy season. I do suffer. And I did get some antihistamines on Thursday. And, um, yeah. Very, really quickly, but it's still raining. Look. So what's happening? It's chilly. It's chilly. It's chilly. And windy. It's chilly. It's no, it's, and it's windy. And okay, we get we get that all the time. So, John, am I moving? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm overly fucked with him. What? That's easy. I know, I know, but. <laughs> so that was really the only part of the stream that was interesting, anyway. <laughs> but that one will be out later today, and then hopefully tomorrow, my pre-record, if not today. Or Wednesday, it just depends on YouTube. Well, it depends on me getting the. I gotta do. I'm, I'm, it's all completed. I just have to run some commentary over it. All right, now let's finish what we are here for. Thank you for humoring me. And I think I left off at like I just gotten over an hour. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the hour and there's like 45 minutes left of this. Too discouraging, though that's easier said than done because there's a lot of people out there that are rooting for you to get to get a resolution to her. Because know. she's been talking to Danielle for how many years now? Eleven. Which she claims, oh, we're good, we're, they, we, got a, we get along, and we made really? a truce. Really? Because Danielle fought against Maria in court for me, so I don't know how she can say that. Um, that's what she's been saying for three years, is that they worked it out and made a truce. <laughs> don't know how that's possible. I mean, I, I have Maria's own twin sister testifying for me against her. <laughs> but, yep. Like, when we know. first signed into the court, the bailiff was on there, and I saw Heidi, and uh, but he went, each person that signed in, he says, all right, well, state your name and who you're here for. And I was like, I'm Sea Moon, and I'm here for Johnny Side. And then uh, Heidi, who are you? And who? she's like, I'm Heidi Black, and I'm here for Maria. So, and so I got to see uh, Anna in court with her camera on, and she looks just like Maria, but she looks 20 to 30 Healthier. years younger. Yes, healthier. healthier and healthier, and she actually looks like she knows what skincare is. Yeah. But I saw those two in court, and Heidi looked pissed off. When she had her camera on and the bailiff was going through, she looked madder than hell that she had to be in there with me. I spy a big lie from Siwa's mouth. <laughs> Correct, Maria. Me and Anna. Well, Heidi better be careful because, like, there's, you know, I, you know, I, I still can't understand, like, why Heidi, why Maria thought Heidi be a good reference. This was before the last. This was, uh, done like two days, three days. Well, it was done like it was done before the last uh court date, which is now um been moved out I, again because I guess the judge, uh, was busy. Uh, I, you, you did, and she is. Uh, what I saw, and I know I saw something current. Maria is. Um, well, maybe it wasn't that current. You know, I don't know. Let me just let's continue. 
when like she testified against Maria in court saying that Maria deserved her finger against for a man of prayer Like I, I don't understand that. But okay. Um and Christy Denver, like you your husband did my taxes for four years, so and you paid my rent, right, Christy Denver? So like okay, so what what are you gonna say, Christy Denver, against me? And Brooke Graham, a witness? Okay, Brooke. That's uh, not cool. Um <laughs> God, what an ungrateful fucker. Do you hear him? So, like, yeah, you did my taxes and you paid my rent, Christy Denver. So what can you say? I, I <laughs> he's, he's literally bragging about, instead of being still gracious for people, uh, spending $13 a month on his rent, he holds it against yeah. Oh, there was a lot of threatening of the witnesses in the last segment I played the other day. Probably not Addie, but yeah. But some of these women are so simpy, I don't, you know, like we've seen these him verbally come at these women pretty badly. And they still run back. He's the biggest stalker of the crew. You know, it, it's, you know, but it, it's very hard for me to, like, you know, I've been, it's it's 10 times, 10 different hearings. Like, I, you know, and then you psych yourself up and you're hoping. It's going to be the last day and then, nope, got to do it again. Yeah, I know yeah, that the society that goes in that. And, like, the funny thing is, he was, like, you know, when we got, you know, when Maria served both of us with ROs. Um, we I would never talk to you again if it wasn't for her doing that. No, and I was begging you. I'm like, Siwa, talk to me. Because Siwa still hated me, like, like the death. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, and I, I was trying to protect her. I'm like, no, call me. Okay, guys, I did play this part on last stream because I said it was ridiculous. Everybody in Siwa's chat was telling her to stop talking about it. Once you've been served or you do this, either you've been served or do the serving, you need to shut up about it until court because it just protects you. It just protects you to shut up. But she didn't listen to anybody. The stubborn bitch. Just kept going and going hard and ignoring everybody in her chat, asking her to stop until John sent a super chat and said he was trying to contact her to get her to stop. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, wow, is that, oh, is that bad for me? Oopsies. You know, this is like, you know, like, you know, um, but. <sighs> they're, she's so, they're so pissed off we talk. They're the ones that, I mean, they pretty much forced the hand, so. Be mad at yourself. You know, and um, when me and Siwa got served back in June, like we both appeared, like, you know, I had an attorney. I didn't run from being served, neither did John. No, just yeah, me. Certain, and we got that settled that day. And now, like, you're, you know, you're going to tell me, like, you're not worried, like, you're not a liar, you're not a faker for, like, you know, and, like, we're, like, you know, seven months into this and you're still avoiding it. The constant stress of wondering when they're going to knock the door to serve you, you would think that would be enough for her to be like, please just give me the papers so I don't have to worry about you showing up at my job and showing up at my home and show, like, that's how bad she was worried about what was going to happen. She was willing to deal with that stress and that fear of when are they going to knock the door, when are they going to catch me, but it was worth it just for her because she, she knows what the outcome's going to be, I feel like. Well, we'll see, I guess. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot's been said. I I'm glad that it's right around the corner. But, well, I know you're not excited about it, but no, nope, it's right around the corner. All. I react badly to this. Like, you know, I, I you know, I, I don't, know. I don't like, like, you know, I don't wake up and like. <laughs> not at all, Pippi. She just keeps it going. That's what I've seen all these women do. I haven't seen any of them um, say. John, maybe the subject isn't good. Now, John's not going to stop. You, you know, you can't, you can't make John do anything he doesn't want to do. But you can try, and then if enough people who care about him say it, he eventually will. Like, like hopefully he's completely done talking about one person. I have a feeling that'll come up again. But it took so many people begging him to stop, and Julie. And, you know, and, and in this case, I think um, Julie is much more of an influencer behind the scenes to talk about the people and do things to the people that she hates the mo most. Uh, she's proven that, that she is um, not going to stop easily. Like, you know, I can't wait for court today and I can't wait, you know, it's stuff that like I don't want to go through. Um, and. It's just, it's torture at this point. It, it really is torture. It's fucking torture. It is, it, it, it is torture. Like, and I've, you know, every time that we have to like, you know, you know, get ready for court, 
John, why isn't June torture for you? I wonder. Let's continue. And it's just it's, it, it it's a lot on you. It's you know, especially when they're playing they're playing clips of me saying bad things about people from ten years ago. Like, okay, I said that. Yeah, I'm controversial. Yeah, I. I... Ten years ago, shut the ever loving fuck up. Ten years ago, and see what you see what you are. <laughs> this is why I will never ever ever have any respect. Not even an ounce of respect for you again, because you know damn well, you know just as well as any of us that he's lying. Right. No. <laughs> 10 years. I don't think he even started this stuff until like, what, 20, 2015, did he say? So like nine years ago. But he didn't come to YouTube and start the YouTube shit till 2020. Twenty twenty is when that video was made of Cody reading from the script and then apologizing for fucking up. I've said shit about a lot of people, you know, um, but we all have bad clips out there, honestly. <laughs> we all have the bad clips, but yeah, I hope that the other side the your people are playing the clips of what she's been doing to people and going after the children and going after families and all that jazz. You know what, Siwa Marie? What children has Maria gone after? <laughs> Siwa, you're such a dirty cunt. You have recently, you, you follow Brooke's kid on TikTok. You are obsessed. But you want to talk about Maria going after children? I've seen Maria go after somebody's child who went after hers and i will not name that person on my channel right now because i can't stand him um but he's gone after hers pretty heavily with the whole song and disgustingness and all of those things he's been hardcore going after maria's uh child her daughter And that was uh, really before Maria's channel, even. I mean, she did it on her YouTube sort of channel, but she never, I don't think, ever meant that channel to even be a channel at the time. <laughs> Maria was just that pissed off. I even made it onto that channel. Woohoo! <laughs> Not woohoo, but woohoo. Maria will never, she's never going to stop. She is never going to stop. That is right. She's never well, seen anything wrong with what she does. Let's say I win, and she will never stop. You no, know, she's going to gear speech. She's going to gear up more towards me, Sophie, Jules, anybody else, because she knows she can't talk about you. And it's it's fucked up, you know. Um. She was all about reading all of the police reports and all of that disgustingness, and she is stalking her fucking daughter. Why in the world would anybody in this community follow anybody's kids? I believe because Siwa has done it, it's encouraged other disgusting people to do it. If you're following Brooke's kid on any platform, you are disgusting and you need to stop. Siwa's unfortunately not the only one at this point. And it's really fucking gross, and you need to stop. Hey, Glenn Clark. Um, but she's never gonna stop. Bald cat who who poses as my as my cat Georgie will never stop, and certainly. Oh wow, Georgie is fucking harmless and adorable. Get over yourself. Me will never fucking stop. And when I told y'all that she was my eight year Twitter stalker, like like hello. I'm Hello. still shocked by that. I had no idea she was involved that long. Oh, yeah. I thought she just randomly found me uh, oh. three years ago, just stumbled across the channel, because she was one of the first ones that would leave comments. Like, she's, Jade and her, I remember the first videos I ever put out, there's Anne and Jade, like, they were they were here that long. I was like, I guess they just randomly found me. I had no idea. That whole time I was friends with her, I had no idea that she had been involved that long. And I, I just want to say this before I get off. Um, mm -hmm. 
I know I have a, I, I have a very good support team behind me. I do. And um, they have told me time and time again, John, <laughs> do not talk about it. Do not air it. And um, I feel bad for them, my moderators, my mod group, um, because I clearly cannot stop from defending myself, just like you, Siwa. Yeah, anyway. or I you right on. It's very, very hard for people to sit and listen to people just make bold-faced lies about you and your family and for you not to fire back. Like, you know, it, it's impossible. Especially it's, for things that you know you would never, ever, ever fucking do. It's, it's exactly. And, um, you know, you kind of have to fire back. Um, and, you know, I, I know that I let my team down. I'm, I'm sure they're mad that, like, I'm on this live right now and I said the stuff I said tonight. Um, and it's probably warranted. Um, but th this is me. And, you know, unless you're sitting in my shoes or Siwa's shoes or Jules or Amber, whoever, you're not going to understand what it's like. Pippi, can you check your DM when you get a chance? It's not super important. You know, it made me mean more than most because. Well, I guess it's important enough for me to say it, but I guess I didn't even really need to anyway. Look at your DM. <laughs> I want to see your reaction. <laughs> I do have connections to, like, cast members from the shows. I, 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 I you know, and God, I, I keep, you know. I am mentioned in articles, and I do have connections, and, you know, and I am a bigger name than the rest of them, and I'm stupid for allowing myself to get dragged down by these fucking cunts that just want to destroy me and my name and my reputation. They and, just want to hurt people. They don't care what the repercussions yeah, are. Yeah, or what yeah. deserve. And it's my fault again, because I should know better. I should know, like, you know, I'm a public figure, so I should not even, like, engage this. I should not talk about it. Like, you know, it is what it is, and, like, but, for you know, and, you know, I tried that, um, I tried going, you know, um, after the pain interview, when I had paid on, you know, January of last year, I had paid on, and, like, you know, that big interview that, like, you know, people are still talking about, mm -hmm. uh, I decided to distance myself from all my friends. So I wouldn't go in selfie chat. I wouldn't go in um, your I wouldn't go. Oh, my God. He whined like a baby and said he didn't want to do the drama anymore and blah, 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 blah. Go in anybody's chat, like you know, because I didn't want to be tied to it anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. right, Nikki. <laughs> Back up when you are, so I, I understand that. And that was my bad because I should never have given my friends up for because I thought maybe like in jest they would leave me alone. I thought like you know, in in that time, um, I, I I I stopped talking to all my other YouTube friends who had my back, and I was wrong for that. No, you weren't. No, no I was. Not I was blame you for that. I was wrong for that. Hey, beans. He see what? <laughs> oh my God! Hey, Lita. Hey, Uno. How are you doing, Beans? That I was wrong. It's about, I, it's about I, doing what you need to do for your mental health. So, who cares? You... Whoops. Two friends talk about this stuff because we're all being attacked at, at the same time, and um, I decided that I um. I shouldn't be involved in that anymore, and I wrote everybody off, all my friends. I like the only live I was in was in was my live, and mm -hmm. uh, I thought that that was like the right way to go. And I neglected my friends with their YouTube channels, and you know because I thought like you know let me get away from them, and if I do, then I'll he neglected his friends with their YouTube channels. <laughs> Dude, nobody needs. <laughs> your help. Siwa got more views on you than you get on you. I don't know. So I guess that's help. <laughs> I'll be away from the whole situation, but you know what happens is that that didn't work. It didn't work. And, you know, now, you know, after the Angela thing when I went to Georgia and um, people were saying, like, you know, John, don't go in Sophie's chat. Don't go in Siwa's chat. Don't go in Jules's chat. Don't, you know, don't go into chats. Like, you know, if you want to be, if you want to be a professional blogger, which I've been for a decade, but whatever, um, right. if you want to be a professional blogger, Let's don't stay away from in these people's chats where they're talking about the people that hate you. And this time around, I said, no, I said, I can't do that. I said, these are my friends. And as much as I want to get away from like the Maria's, the Anne's and the Brooks, these are my friends and they support me. And I can't, I, I can't cut those cords again. I, I did that once and I lost a lot of friends over it. I yeah. Oh my God, he's such he's such a selfless human being, right? Whoops. 
so selfless. And agree health, wealth, and hope on what you said a minute ago. Drama is his first, second, and third name. Yep. Yep, Stacy. But John, I don't think any the ones that you're mentioning now, me included, nobody who's been on this end, who's been attacked by the, that, that group, none of us would sit here and fault you one second if you said, Hey, I just know I do support you. I just stay out of the chats because I can't, I don't want to be sucked back in. Not one person would fault you for that. Hell, I've disappeared for a month uh, before. And Jules has taken breaks and we all take breaks when we need to. Don't ever think you have to be in the chat. I'm or not going to abandon y'all. I'm not. It's I did not that once. No, I, I hear what you're saying. I did that once, but like, you know what, Siwa? Um, then I get messages, like, you know, um, about like, you know, y'all like defending me, like, and I'm nowhere to be found. And that makes me feel like shit because, like, you know, I'm not in your chats and you're defending me and, like, you know, I'm not there. And then, like, it's not as easy It's not as easy as it looks. I promise you. Um, you gotta think about it. They're going to say something regardless. If you're in the chat, they're going to say something. If you're not in the chat, they're going to say something. So you got to choose which is the better option. In, because they're going to say shit something no matter what so you what do. What do you think, Siwa? I have, I have two roads to go down. Either I just say in my lane on my YouTube channel and never go in anyone's chat like you, yours, or Jules, or Kendra's, or um, whoever's else because, you know, it's talking about drama. Like, mm -hmm. I can't Before do that. If you want to, or if you want to just go down the path of only doing the 90-day stuff, then do that nut like to know what's going to fault you for that. No, we're not going to be like, how dare he's not there. Just keep in touch and say, just let you know I'm still supporting you, whatever. But you don't, don't feel forced to be here, even though that's what you want to no, do. I don't, no, I don't feel forced to be here at all. Like, listen, I asked you for the link. Like, no one's forcing me to be here right now. No, no, no. I'm not, I don't feel forced at all. I want to support my friends. Like, my friends support me. And, you know, <laughs> I was rogue for a your friends don't support you. They use you. Hey, Wendy. Right, Angie? Long time, Siwa. Like, you know, I, like, I, I, I said, fuck you to everybody. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Every I fucking, I, I said, fuck you to, to everybody. And I was rogue and by myself for a long time. And you know what? Going back into this, like, I feel the warmth of your chats. And, <laughs> and... You know, I realized what I was missing. You know, it's it's very easy to say fuck everybody, and I'm going down my lane, which I've done. John, you haven't had any kind of support like this in so long. Anytime you would go into any channel, um, you couldn't handle how the chats were treating you. Now suddenly you have a little bit of a team. You got a few chats that you can go in where you'll get respect the word so fake so fake on for like the last few years um but honestly um i've been very I've, I've been happier with me being in your chat again and me being with jules and me being with uh, amber and whoever else you know like i felt the warmth from all of you and I'd, i would much rather have that than being rogue and alone and icy and you know if that's how it's gonna have to be then that's how it's gonna have to be you know, I, I would much rather have my friends with me than ignoring them. And, um, you know, people can say, like, you know, I understand John for not wanting to be in their chats, but, like, you're all supporting me. So Why are all your so-called friends creators that only have a couple of thousand people? Why don't you have any larger creator friends, John? Why are um, the creators that respect you such tiny channels? So if I'm not in your chats, then what, is, what does that say about me to you? It's, it's, it's and it doesn't say, because I've been touched many times. I, like I said, I know you would be there. Like, I know you're still supportive. So I know that there's times in my life I don't see the chat. I know there's a good chance probably in bushes. Or, you know, or I just say, oh, he just didn't get a notification. No big deal. I don't, I don't read too much into it. But if, if you still want to be in the chat, maybe just, I don't know, maybe the solution is get a sock account and only let a few know. So no, you're still no, showing no. support. No, 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 no. I've never had a sock account. And I'm not going to start now. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Like, I speak on my own. Like, I don't hide. Well, then, at the end of the day, it's just up to you what's the pros and cons of being in the chat versus not being in the chat. It, it's what you can live with because your mental health gets affected, I think. Hi, DeLorean the most out of everybody because they have such deep things about you, um, especially with family members and stuff of that nature. So I think it's a, it's your decision as far as what you want to do with it, but you cannot sacrifice your mental health. Right. Because even with people, even people with 2000 to 5,000 can beat him in numbers. <laughs> to show us support when it's not going to make anything, anything better, you know, and apparently get mentioned on the bigger 90 day fiance channels if they're nosy enough to get a FOIA. <laughs> oh, speaking of, there is 90 day breaking news on, um, 
Like, I don't even watch this shit, but it popped up in my feed, I guess, because of my short. But um, apparently, there's rumors going around that Scott Warren has been fired from 90 Day Fiance because of his um, interactions with somebody named Amanda that was on the show last year. I don't know if it's true or not. But I think it's funny that John considers himself such a prolific 90 Day Fiance blogger. And he never, ever, ever has the breaking news on anybody. Even Angela doesn't give him the breaking news. <laughs> like, she did that last weekend. But that was a complete setup on her part. That's, she chose him and his schemey ways for a reason. It's only going to make things harder on you. Sorry. Like that was <laughs> everyone will still be there in your lives, and everyone will still be there when you're doing your content and everything. So it's not like it's going to change anything. Every, like, you're pretty much making it known you want to be there. But I think all of us collectively would be like, you need, if you need to step back, step back. Like, if you need to take a breather and not be in the chat because all the shit going on, then do that, especially with the court situation. I mean, I that's what I'm I, I think it's safe to say, like, like you know, like the, I'm ingratiated in all of this, like, you know, um, and I can't do anything about that. Like, you know, and even if I don't say anything about. Florian, you're right, because it kind of ruins the allure of the 90 day community not even being about 90 day fiance. <laughs> this is why it's the 90 day community. Every once in a while, the shit sneaks in. <laughs> and I think most of us stopped watching it because it hit John. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll have a member of mine in your chat and they'll blame it on me. And you know that, Siwa. Oh, yeah. But Really? That's interesting, Lita. That wouldn't necessarily surprise me either because they really do like uh, uh, the the crazier, the better. You know, so like I might as well just be vocal in your chat. Like, you know, like, you know, because I get yelled at like Julie, Julie, for example. When Julie was going off on people with, with on YouTube and, and IG, like you know, you know Julie, <laughs> I love Julie with all my heart. She's my best friend. Uh, she went hard for sure, yeah. But Julie went hard, and like you know, when Julie was going hard on people, it was blamed. I got blamed. I got blamed for it because of Julie's actions. Well, that's so, funny. Yeah, and you will continue. Anything that Julie does, she does in your name. It doesn't mean you ask her, but it means that she loves you so much. She has in um ingratiated herself so much into your life and everything going on that she attacks the people that don't like you and then they attack her then she attacks them and then they attack her and then she attacks them but it all started because of you you fuck face i blame both of you i mainly blame julia on posting uh Yeah, I blame Julie on that mostly, but I believe she does it in your honor, and I believe that you're proud of her when she does it. I believe you laugh. I believe that you thought it was funny as fuck that she was posting my dead parents with drawings of penises jacking off on them. I bet you loved it, and I bet you laughed your fucking ass off. And then lied and accused me of posting your mother's picture. I've never fucking seen your mother's picture. But okay. Drunk ass liar. And bitch ass liar. Because when you go hard at people, Julie gets blamed for it. So. <laughs> and I love Julie. Um, she's my beefer. Like, I love Julie. She's, she's my number one. Um, and she, and like, we all know that. Like she's my beefer. I love Julie. He even, he's, he... He wants her as his number one because she's such an enforcer. Because she is willing to get deep and dirty with who, whoever he needs her to get deep and dirty with. He doesn't even need to ask her. She just knows. And she just does. And he's just proud. Like, you know, we all know that. As with, I think, most people's decisions. I don't think people are forced to do things. I think sometimes they're asked or sometimes things are talked about and they're like, oh, my God, what a great idea. I'll do that because that's been me before, probably. <laughs> me and Julia, like, you know, um, 
we're a team. Um, but like, you know, when Julie says stuff, and uh, Lord knows I've told Julie a million times, Julie, shut the fuck up. And she's like, fuck that, I'm not gonna do it. Um, you know, like, but people don't understand that. People, people see Julie as a speaker for me, and, um, you know, I still get shit on for it. So, and like, you know, it, it's, it's just not Julie, it's, it's you know, Wicked, um, a lot of people, like, you know, it, it's, they get blamed. Yeah, because they give you a shit ton of money and, and help to further your addictions. And you take advantage and you lie. You're still talking about a moving GoFundMe. You want to start a GoFundMe so freaking bad. You are dying. You are chomping at the bit to start a GoFundMe. And you know, you know, you know, you know, you know you'll get annihilated for it. But you're still trying to figure out a way that you can do it and soften the blow. Before you do it, blamed, and then I get blamed, and because you know they're my moderators, they're my friends, they're my subs, and whatever, and like there's there's no escape for me really. There's not like it, it it would have to take Siwa seriously. It would have to take all of my subs and members to never talk in your chats at all. Your chat, Jules chat, uh, Amber's chat. Uh, you know that's what it would take for us. You know to, to have a, a clear dissection of between the channels. Yeah, yeah, and we all know that that could never happen. We all share subs and members. We all do. All of mm -hmm. us do. And, you know, as long as that's happening, I'm connected to everybody. And I, I want to be connected to you guys. I do. Um, and it is. It that's John realizing the monetary loss he had when Heidi left. And the whole mod thing and all that stuff um, with Heidi and Terry Lynn. And people supporting those women much, 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 much more than they supported him. Because they all left his ass. Oh, and then there was when Maria and Brooke left. Because he's had this happen over and over again where um, people have loyalty, so much loyalty to the person who decided to follow him versus him himself. And yes, please hit the like button if you guys wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate it. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, I understand. I, like, like, like they said, you're going to be talked about one way or the other. So it's at the end of the day, it's just up to you what you want to do. As far as Wicked and Brooklyn, Brooklyn Girl and all that, I think what you're, you're doing is good when you're, they, they're they only seen when and your, your content streams about 90 Day Fiance. I think that's a good way to keep it because that does keep a lot of the heat off them versus when they're seen in chats, they get attacked a lot harder. So I think I'll do the right step. Stop it. It is not about them getting seen in chats. Stop. Stop. Why the fuck would anybody care? That they are in the chats of the people that John is supporting. It doesn't matter. That, that holds no relevance. It's what comes out of their mouths. It's what they type out. It's it's how, um, yeah, it's basically what, what the fuck comes out of their mouths. No matter what chat they're in or whose panel they are on, whatever link that they grab. It's not where they are. It's what, it, it's not where any of us is. It's what we say. For the most part. Right. Right. Is that Anne? I think Maria was already here with her own name. So I'm going to assume that's Anne incorrect. Yes. That's true. That's a very good point, actually. Let's see. We'll do the uh, drag streams. And get the views. She was being smart, sabotaging at its best. <laughs> right. Well, and, and but the the way that they are acting, it's like they are putting. You shouldn't. I mean, people can go where they want. Now, one thing, though, but as long as people aren't saying anything bad, but it does get frustrating when you see people in places over and over where you are getting shit talked. That can be frustrating, but that's where we have to adult up and understand that, that these people that we care about that are there, they're not agreeing, they're not talking, they're not inserting. So, you know, it, it's challenges for everybody, but we 
are all adults and should be able to handle these. That's as far as Brooklyn Girl and Wicked. Um, I don't really think, I mean, but they're also your panelists, so it's best well, to keep them separate. All I can it. say right now is that, like, you know, I've been doing my, I've been really trying hard to, I want my camera on, hold on, there's a camera thing, this somehow. I've really been trying hard to not be, like, the person that I was, like, you know, when, like, I get mad, like, you know, I used to go live every night and, like, scream and yell and blah, 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 like, you know, every night on a YouTube live and, like, you know, uh, see, you see what you know about that. <laughs> like, I, like every, <laughs> That's one of my biggest issues in the past with you, is you would just say everything that came to your brain. Every night I would do that, and, like, you know, now, um, you know, maybe I, I do it here and there or on a members live or like, you know, here with you right now. But like, you know, it's, it's not my it's not my bread and butter. I, I've really I've really been trying my hardest to, you know, get back to what I was good at. Interviews, mm -hmm. recaps, uh, tea, breaking news. And I've been trying to reinvigorate my channel with that. And, um, you know, it's probably at this point, it, it's probably falling on deaf ears. Uh, you know, I, I have the reputation that I have, which is my own fault because I was the one that went live and train to people and said bad words and threaten people. Like I said that, you know, that was me. Oh my God, if he would just shut up right here. I mean, it would help if he would take accountability for the shit that he's done, but he almost sounds sincere, but I have a feeling he's gonna keep going and fuck all this up. <laughs> um, did I ever follow out? Did, did, did I ever like follow up on anything? Never, you know, never not once. I said some shit when I was mad. How are we supposed to know? And there's always that time that you will follow up. Just because you say shit when you're mad and you threaten people and you threaten to harm people, she is good at desperation ass kissing. <laughs> she is. About what people were doing to me, I did, but I never followed through with it. Like, you know, I, I got mad, I went live, and, um, and that's, you know, my fault. It's me. I, I can only blame myself for this. I can't, you know, and honestly, if I'm if I'm looking to put blame on anybody, it's me. Did I accidentally do something to Brooke? I didn't block her, did I? My backstage did something weird. So hopefully Brooke's still here and I didn't do anything. And if I did something, hopefully you guys can fix it. <laughs> I'm the one that fucked myself up. I am. It's my fault. It's my fault. You know, I never understood what it was like to be a public figure. I was never on TV. Like, there's like no guidebook for it. Um, I, you know, when I got popular, I, I like I grew. I gained like you know with the Larissa arrest. Like, I, I gained like you know fifty thousand followers like overnight like that. And like you know, I'm like, oh okay. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just Sean. Like, you know, I go to the gas station. I, I get my mobile lights, and no one notices me. And um, I fucked up. I fucked up so many times. I did, and it's my fault. Mm -hmm. I can't Thank you, Brooke. I'm sorry. I was trying to get something off my screen, and. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Oops. I can't blame this on anybody but myself. I can't. It's my fault. And then I got hoodwinked by people like Penelope with you, Siwa, with the shit with Penelope. Um, yeah. I, you know, and I allowed myself to put myself in shitty situations where, like, um, <laughs> I allowed myself to allow myself to allow myself to put in some shitty situations that I allowed myself. Jesus. And you're still lying about it because you are the one that started it. You just attack people for-, for Actually, Jewel started it by dropping the GoFundMe in her community tab. And from that, John was next. So Jules and John are pretty much responsible for that entire thing. For the sake of attacking and like that's what they do and like that was never me but i allowed it i i no they cheered it on every time you did it they never said john you should not do that i think the crew that's around now would be like let's not i mean jules when jules was on panel with you the other day and about the cooch thing she's like yeah let's not do that john let's not tell people to call the cops back then they ne that, that the hags x hags they've never said that's too far don't do that don't say that don't talk about that don't talk about they've never done that and i think if, if they actually cared they would have thought fuck off siwa you were supporting this man and running into people's rooms and trolling them. You had this big troll group and you'd run it. You'd be like, um, trolls unite. Let's go to Lita's. And I don't know, a bunch of you would scurry over to Lita's in your sock accounts, causing all kinds of havoc. But you're like, oh, it was those specific people that never told you. How the fuck do you know? We, uh, people told him in private. I didn't reach out to him personally, but I constantly said in the mod chat, my opinions didn't need to make them public. This man has gone so fucking far and 
and and just keeps getting worse and worse that his mods are finally trying to start to control him. But these mods he has, even if they haven't been mods, they've been around longer than you. So why weren't they trying to stop him back then, Siwa, huh? And why were you trying to instigate shit and make it even worse, huh? about what the repercussions were going to be for you. And again, as a, if they were the friends to you, they should have tried to calm it down a little bit and not just let you make a fool of yourself and then just put it. Yeah, Heidi would tell him time and time again. Right, Maria W. tried to get him in control. Right, Brooke? That's uh, quite too far. That's like, I yeah, can't get much further than that. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I think that if they truly I care, know, they would like, you know. See what well, I should know better. I, that I is know, true. Yeah. You know, like, you know, there's no one who has the connections I have with Cass. Nobody. Uh, especially with my <laughs> fiance. And I ruined it. I ruined it for myself. And I ruined it for my friends. And, um, you know, I, I can look at the, look at, like, the scope of things now with a clear head and saying, like, John, <laughs> you fucking killed yourself with this. Um, and, um, had I not, like, you know, you know, Kim Kardashian, Margaret Joseph, Larissa, like, you know, whatever TV show you want to talk about, like, you know, people have haters. And for me, it was different because I was never. Are you really comparing yourself to Kim Kardashian right now? But saying, but you're going to say yours was different and worse? We're on TV, so I did not understand the hate that. You know, Kim Kardashian, Margaret Joseph, Larissa, like, you know, whatever TV show you want to talk about, like, you know, people have haters. And for me, it was different because I was never on TV. So I did not understand the hate that I got. I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Um, and this is from the bottom of my heart. Like, like I am telling you this, like, with all. PMR, I didn't know that. JY said Addy does not understand social cues. So is he taking advantage of her? See, he and see what said that. I don't know. There's a shit ton of people in this community, though, that don't understand social cues at all whatsoever. They can't read a room. They can't read a person. They can't read a fucking menu, for fuck's sake. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would have to see it and hear it to understand, like, you know, all of the... Oh, he said it because she's on the spectrum. Yeah, that's not... But she'll forgive him and continue to come after um, Anne for what Anne said. And Anne's response was the intelligent response. All sincerity, hands to God. Like, I never understood the shit that I got because, you know, I was never on TV. I was never on 90 Day Fiance. I was never a real housewife. You know, I like, when I say things... You know, I say them as me, as John. Like, you know, like, you know when yeah, I'm not as a, on, a person on, t on YouTube where it's going right. to be replayed a thousand times right. and whatnot. Right, and I'm sitting, like, you know, I'm, I say things like I'm sitting on, on my couch in my living room. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, it's just like, you know, how I talk. And like, you know, and, you know, and you could say that like, you know, because of my personality, like, you know, I did get to where I was because I, you know, I, I, I said things and I did things and, you know, it, it got me like a hundred. You said things and you did things. Yeah, you're an asshole. You ruined people's lives. You act. Hundreds of thousands of followers, and um, I guess in that point I was winning. But then I didn't realize, like you know, when I defend somebody or I say something, like you know, it just it just never. But like you know, this is way past like you know me talking about cats. It's just like you know normal stuff, like you know like you know household shit, husbands and wives, children, cats, animals, mm -hmm. like you know. And it, on top of me never being on TV, like you know, then you have to deal with like, you know people like attacking like my, and then having people like bald cat as Georgie. What the fuck? Like you know, like what the fuck is that? Um and. You know, it's, you know, then getting bags of sh a box of shit mail to my house and my tires being fucking slit and tampons and, and this and that. Like, you know, I can't go through all the shit that's been, that's been done to me, but like, um, and then not respond. Yeah. And again, my fault because I respond to it because I wear, you know, thought about getting a publicist that can help train you better how to deal with shit like that or how to get something done about situations. Oh, Muzz wanted to be John's publicist. That's funny. Muzz wanted to, wanted me to connect her with John because she thought she could do great PR for him because apparently she was also under the impression that nobody had ever tried to talk to him and get him to stop anything. Just like people think that about Jen. Like people want to think that they're such fucking saviors and they're not. <laughs> 
you cannot save anybody on YouTube. If they're going to be fucking idiots, they're going to be fucking idiots. And I think anybody, yeah, I, I think she needs one of her own. Situations like that. <laughs> you know, I, that's their job. They, that's what they deal with, with with other people or with, you know, any public figure. They teach them and help them with things like that. You know, my biggest fault and my biggest strength is that I wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> and like, that's it for me. Like, that's, you know, people know when I'm. Okay, liar. You are I'm my biggest fault is I wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> oh my god, you are not winning any Miss America pageants for that answer, you idiot. <laughs> you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. <laughs> when I'm affected, people know when I'm upset, people know if they send a bag of shit to my fucking house, I will go ape shit. Uh or the tampons or ape shit means to go ape shit. Like, you know, and I think that's normal for people. Like, you know, if people send you a bunch of shit in the mail, like, you're going to go ape shit. Or if people come to your house and take pictures from your bushes, like Today did. You know, and like, you know, that's okay. People say, oh, Today was fine with you. Jay Today is in Ireland, sir. How could she have done that? Doing that because, like, you know, you're a public figure. So it's okay that she's stuck in your backyard and is taking pictures from, like, you know, your bedroom window. Uh, see a wall. Or Nikki, right? And the Captain save -a Like... You know, there's a few. His brother has that really big the the Captain Save a Ho attitude. Like they have to be the savior of all of the women's, and it's really fucking annoying because the women run this shit. <laughs> Could you imagine that happened to me? I have pictures. Look, which look I, my house pictures. I have pictures of them taking pictures of through my bedroom window. Yeah, that's isn't that peeping tom? I mean, is that not illegal? Like, like, but again, I guess I deserved it. I don't know. I, I you know, I don't know what I deserve and do not deserve. All I know is that Hey Dorf, and that's a lie. And listen to the little victim. I don't know what I deserve or don't deserve. Well why don't you talk out all the fuck shit you've ever done and let the people decide. Uh, you create victims. You are not a victim. Um, I still feel like, you know what? Never mind. I was going to say that I feel like I'm a good guy, but like, you know, I don't even know if I'm a good guy anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, cause you know, I've gotten a lot of shit for defending Angela and I'm an asshole. And you know, the thing with, <laughs> the thing with people these days is that like they watch the show on TV. No, nope, never saw pictures of his bedroom window. I didn't even know his bedroom had a fucking window. And they all want to cast judgment on people that they see for 15 minutes at a clip. And, like, you know, I have been with these people in real life. I have been to their fucking houses. Like, I've seen what they've gone through. I've seen the scope of their lives. And, you know, I, I always felt like I'm, I'm different from the other bloggers because, like, you know, all these IGers who want to make, like, money off, you know, Instagram or YouTube or whatever, like, they don't know these cast members. Like, you know. That is why you are not a blogger. All you ever wanted was to be friends with these people, and then when they get pissed off at you, you drop some tea. Like you're, you're. The, Wet sock nailed it when he said that you know you bloggers are not going to be uh, best friends with the cast. Uh, Sherelle is way, way, way more of a blogger because she doesn't really, never really became friends with the casts of these things that she covered. Whereas you only want to be friends with these people, so you only would talk about the people you really hated or the people you really loved. But never, ever, it just in general, like it's, it's, hey, Mayor. Right, Sarah? Hey, Michelle. Yeah, he's hung out with a convicted pedo and, and their kids. I don't you actually know them in life and you're yes. involved in their day-to-day -day life, not just TV. Yes, thank you. And, like, there's nobody else on Earth that has spent as much time as I have with the 90 Day cast. Going to their houses, meeting their children. It's not a brag. You're not even, you, you, you've you not made a career out of it. You're a big fucking loser. Right, Jeffrey Pachel. You're just a big fucking loser that is trying to be friendly with people with reality stars on TV. 
That is all. You're a desperate loser trying to befriend people on reality TV. Right. It makes you biased. And you don't even report on shit. Like, you're like the sorriest fucking loser blogger there ever was, in my opinion. Like, I've, I've always felt like I've, like, like I have more to offer. Because I've seen... You know, it's it's like you know, I I could be on 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 Instagram and make it a stupid fucking bullshit account, and you know, talk. Right, real journalists do research, not reporting false stories and bullshit. And half the shit he would say is lies on purpose because he'd get mad. Right, I'm sure with Lena, with you, he said so much fucking shit that had to be such lies because he was mad. It's it's disgusting. It's. It, like nobody should ever befriend this man if you're in reality TV, because he will fuck you over. Talk about like how awful these people on the show. Like I've seen them, I've seen them, I've met their families, I've met their kids, and it's just not Angela. Like you know, you know, I, I've been with a million cast members from the show, and that's why I guess people take me seriously. I guess I don't know, but um, I like nobody takes you serious. What the fuck are you talking about? I guess that's why people take me seriously. Uh, the dumb hags. Oh, sorry. The stupid hags make you, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Nobody takes you seriously except for a hag. Hey, E11. I would, I don't know. I, well, I, I think that's why you're such a ride heart, you know, ride or die for Angela and Scotty. But and it's not Angela. Like, 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 see what, like, I mean, no. I know it's a lot of the cast, but I think people, you know, like, I can't believe he, he's okay with this and that. That was done on TV. But I guess, I mean, at the end of the day, I think of it like, well, he's closer to them and it's not just TV for him. And well, look so at Paul. He knows them better you know, than anybody. Like, you know, Ashley just got married. Oh, not married. Engaged, know, right? You know, Ashley and like me had a big old falling out. Uh, I mean, you've been in the hotel room with Ashley. Spent the night yeah. with Ashley, so. And her mom. <laughs> me and Ashley, me and Ashley were at Dr. Jen's house for July. You know, me and Ashley, um, when Brew died, Ashley was there for me. And um, I have to say, um, of all the cast members um, that I've had in contact with, like, I miss Ashley. Um, but, like, I saw that she got engaged today, and she looks amazing, and. God, you fucked Ashley over so bad. Like you fucked Danielle. You fucked everybody but Angela. Oh, and Tiffany. And I guess you can't really fuck over Jeffrey because he's in prison. And uh, beautiful, and she has her salon, and she's engaged, and she's happy. And I could not be happier for Ashley. I could not. I could not. And um, it, like, you know, I was talking to girl Lisa about it, like, you know, because she's from Ashley. I'm like, you know, I'm so happy for her. And um, she has a salon. And like, you know, you know, once you're on the show, like, you know, it kind of fizzles. And Ashley really did do, um, she, she really made good. Ashley did that with her time on the TV, unlike a lot of the cast. She actually yeah, made like, business out of it. Um, and I, I, you know, if, if you know, I, I'm happy with all the cast members that have my life, but like, you know, Ashley's the one, you know, and we went, we went, we went hard at each other. Like, we were best friends. Like, you oh, know, yeah, I, mean, I was, I witnessed that fight. And, but you know, me and Ashley probably spent more time together than me and, than, and any other cast member. Um, Even Angela now? Yeah, me and Ashley spent oh. a lot of time together. Him and Ashley. He, John did a GoFundMe. <laughs> no, it was a John. One of John's GoFundMe's. Um, he took the money, and him and Ashley partied hard uh, for a few days. Um, and they were really, really good friends for a little while. And then I don't exactly remember even the. Um, I don't remember the reason uh, they, they started fighting, but he just started spilling all kinds of information, um, talking about how she went to the hospital, not for, I forget what it was. It was like, she had like some kind of bad health scare, but then he lied and told everybody that she went to the hospital for some type of cosmetic reasons and shit. Just, you know, just did the John thing that he does with everybody. together um which is you know i got jay in jail for for, for christ's sakes uh <laughs> like i did i was really? the one that got, i was the one that got jay in jail yes lupus thank you yeah because I, I showed ashley the fucking post and ashley put jay in jail because of it so if i didn't tell ashley about that then that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have happened but um you know i am uh i'm really happy for ashley and um you also say it was her birthday whose birthday ashley's today uh, uh, that's what i saw in your chat it's actually birthday no yeah this is what's in the chat. Let me look it up. No, it's no, 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 no. Maybe someone was wrong. I mean, it's just a. Why are you so stressed? It's not Ange Ashley's birthday, John. You still send her happy birthdays every year. She hasn't. You. She didn't block you. I mean, 
Okay, totally wrong. Someone invented that. <laughs> it's May second. For anyone wondering, May second. So yeah, well, someone Cody's, just got it wrong. Cody's May seventh. Um, but um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm like you know, and I went you know, people always dog me like you know, John, you're biased, Sean, you don't care about like you know the truth. Like you know, first off, I, I'm not like a CNN reporter or a Fox News reporter. Like I'm not a journalist. Like you know, and everybody who runs a blogging page on Instagram is biased one way or the other. Like that's how that works. Um, it, that that that's just it. And um, I'm you know, yeah, you know, people. I think you got to find a way to you know, especially with situations. Yeah, but all those people haven't met these people really in person and hung out and partied with them more so than just meeting somebody because as a fan, you can meet somebody like I did. I met a bunch of big brother people once I went on D evil Dick used to have. Um, I don't know if he still does. He used to do these um, party cruises on a gambling boat and a whole bunch of big brother cast would come out. And so I did one of those and I got to meet him once, but I never. Not that I'm a blogger, but had I started to become friends with these people, then that's where the line would cross if I was a blogger. Situations like um, with Angela stuff, I think you got to find a way to be like, yes, I, I know that she's done this on the show and this on the show. And, you know, to way to not justify the things on the show, but at the same time still be. I've done that, though. I, I, I've never said Angela was an angel. Like, you know, Angela is, is brutal. <laughs> like, like, uh, you know, she scares me. I mean, she, she's vicious. Yeah. Yeah. But like when you know Angela in real life, she's not like she's not. She's not the person. That you see on TV, um, and I guess that's why I get shits because I see them in real life and I know it, where their hearts are. And um, you know, have you ever I, seen her with Michael? You know, or have you not seen her since he's been here? Well, I, mean, I was, you know you've seen her recently, but like, have you ever seen them together? No, no. Michael okay. came um, a day before Christmas, and then he was gone like two days before I got there. So no, I never saw them together. I, I never met Michael. I never met him. Um, okay, because I always wonder how if they really fight away from the cameras, or they really love you, Like, because again, we can only assume what we see. And I just wonder if you had any insight to that situation. Like, as no, far as I, no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't meet Michael, um, but he was only here for like you know a couple of months. So like you know, I, I went, when I went down to Georgia, just like you know a couple of weeks ago, it was uh, because Michael was missing and Angela yeah. didn't know what to do. Um, so I was saying you made it. Uh, your only goal going there was to make content. If Angela didn't want to do be on the stream, I, I think we're all pretty confident Angela wouldn't have been on the stream. I could have done that fucking live from my computer right here in my fucking house. I right. did not need to drive to fucking Georgia to like go Wait. have her on. Angela has been on my. So why did you and? uh two nights before you said you were leaving on saturday and you had um you were gonna have some really big news some big gossip some major tea like it was nothing that your uh best friend's husband uh left her right health <laughs> YouTube a million times, and I could have done that. And I, I would sell a computer. You know, you know what's funny? I lost taking that trip. <laughs> do, you, do you get this shit? Like, you know, let me that. tell you something about this trip. Um, like, you know, Angela told me to come down, and like, we're family, so I don't care. But like, you know, because I was like instrumental in like finding where Paul was. John, the people want to know. This is a great question. The people want to know, John, is Angela and Michael's wedding picture still above your bed? I forgot all about that. Valorian, thank you for the reminder. And please, John, or anybody on John's team, let us know um, if, if that picture is still above John's bed. Was when he was missing. And like, we all, you know, I have resources. Like, you know, so um, like, she's like, you need to come down here because we need to be in the same room and we, we can figure out where Michael is, right? And I said, okay. It was not for an interview. Do, do you think if, I, I get so well, fucking mad at this. Like, they need to be in the same room to find Michael. They didn't even leave the room. You were in a child's room that had a child's princess tent behind it. And you guys did nothing to help search for anybody or anything. All you did was listen to her scream for four hours. No, you wouldn't. It wasn't an interview. You wouldn't interview her. She's your friend. Or that is how you interview people. You just let them run their mouth and then interrupt them and ask dumb questions to get them to stop talking about the interesting thing they were talking about. I would have got my hair cut. I would have wore a suit. I, like, I, like, I would have, like, you know, been, like, looking my best at that moment. Like, I, you know, I look like... I would say you look very scared. uncomfortable through the whole thing and you look, you honestly look scared of the things that we said and wondering, like, you didn't, you didn't look comfortable at all during the streams like you normally I did. wasn't. I wasn't. Because half the time, while we were live, and, like, you know, as a blogger, you would want a cast member to say, talk, 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 to but I didn't want Angela getting, like, you know, ups, you know, I didn't want, like, TLC Sharp, you know, yelling at her. So that's why I kept telling Angela, shut up. That's why right. I'm muting, my, muting the fucking screen. Because, like, you know, I didn't want Angela getting in trouble. Because I know the rules of TLC. I've been at this mm -hmm. for a decade. I know what's going on. So if I was this really greedy fucking person, I would never, I, I would have let, let her run at the mouth. Yes! Yeah. yes, exactly. 
if I didn't care about, and she, and Angela yelled at me because she knew I was muting things. And she's, so like, she's like, I don't care. I want him to know. And, yeah. I, and I cared because I didn't want Angela getting in trouble with the network. Fuck me for being a good guy, right? Nah. Like, people don't fucking, wet sock, fuck you. Like, you don't fucking get it. Like, you know, I, I could have done that. Wet thinks that you co-sign all her behavior and that you don't see anything wrong with the things she's Wait, done. Wait, what did he say? He thinks you co-sign everything she's done that you don't see any problem with her behavior from TV or. He does co-sign everything she's done. Because he lies about the things, like all of the Scotty shit. He totally co-signs that Scotty is there. 100%. He is okay. Mm. Or on the street, like he thinks that you're the guy who's posing as Nicholas Cage's son. Th like that's not Nicholas Cage's son. Like the guy who wants. Ooh, burn! <laughs> fucking wet suck. I'd never heard that until John said that. Dude, I don't think he even looks like Nicholas Cage. So I don't know where that joke is coming from, but you sound stupid. Wants a fake being um, a father to Nicholas Cage. That guy, yeah, really? Be... You know, wet suck. You want to? Have you guys ever seen Nicolas Cage's son? Seriously? Like the one, I don't know how many kids Nicolas Cage has, but he's got that one son that's got hair like Drazos, except he looks like, let me, let me see if I can find a picture. Of him. Get too many things up. Let's see. His name is Weston Cage. Let me share this tab. There's a son. I've only seen him with the long black hair, never shorter hair. That's like the first picture I saw of him, this one. So I don't know where the Nicolas Cage stuff is coming from. I don't know if he's got other kids besides uh, Weston. But anyway, that is uh, Nicolas Cage's son. <laughs> Fuck with me, I will. You know, I've been well, with you. Clearly, I don't agree with everything, and you're not saying she's but, an angel. You know, Sock is somebody who goes on YouTube saying I'm Nicholas Cage's son. He's not his son. It's a lie. Oh my god! Like that's that's not his son. Nope, not his son. Co-signing. Okay. I John always focuses on the dumbest things that everybody probably already knows. Hey, Toya. Oh wait, I said hi to you earlier. Hi again, Toya. <laughs> I went down there because she needed me and she knew how good I was at like, you know, Getting my out there. was, yeah. you know, and I, I have resources. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, they found Paul, quote unquote, found Paul within what, two days of your stream? Uh-huh. So, and I mean, he was fine and alive like, like, at the four seasons in fucking uh, Brazil, uh, you know, and that, you know, and I have not talked to Paul since then. Like, you know, Paul, Paul did you dirty. And so, I mean, yeah, he, he did. did dirty. They both did. Every time John talks about a hotel where he wants somebody to appear, I don't even know, but he always loves to say, he always loves to lie and say that everybody he hates stays at the Four Seasons. And so that right there, he's just like, yeah, Paul was at the Four Seasons in Brazil. Um, no, he was hanging out on one of those actual real houses boats. And his signal was gone fucking four seasons but john always says the four seasons you know john is lying if he's talking about somebody no i mean you know john is lying when he opens his mouth but if he if he includes the four seasons you also know that he's lying he was only trying to get out of court clearly they both did and like you know paul used me as a you know like because he knew i cared about him and i you know i really did love paul i did i and paul didn't fucking use you, you asshole. You reached out to Paul's mom all on your own. You wanted to be, to deliver the news and and be be the source closest to the situation and blah blah blah. You completely put yourself into that. Paul didn't use you. 
Paul wasn't fucking missing. Paul didn't even know all the shit had been going on for a couple of days or for a day. And then I think he reached out. He reached out to somebody who reached out to Brooke right away because he didn't give a shit about you. And like, you know, it hurts me now that I have not talked to him since then, but I can't open that back up again because like, you know, Paul only cares about Paul. And oh, like, yeah. you know, the people, you know, Paul saying what well, Dom Natty, Dom Natty just came back from out of fucking nowhere. Um, Paul saying, um, oh, I, I want to be with Angela. She's like, you know, that's Paul trying to suck more clout and, and get attention because Paul, TLC is done with him. Sharp is done with him. The whole world is done with Paul and Kareem. Irish Lass, thank you so much for becoming a member. Hey. And that's Paul trying to be like, oh, I'll be, I'll sleep with Angela. You know, I, I'll fuck her. Fuck, what the fuck Ugh. is that? No. Gross. No. The idea no. of Paul and Angela, anybody. Ugh. That was Paul fucking clout out of the whole Angela. Well, he was story. even throwing his own mom under the bus just to, to get one over on you and to put the blame. He put the blame on his mom, Karini, you. I mean, who does that? But that's Paul. You know, and like, we, all know, we all know that's Paul Staley. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sheila, now you're helping John with, with the hoax that he's telling <laughs> yes absolutely pick me john used that whole story and used his mother and got his mother involved and all of that for his own personal gain and then paul and his mom end up getting into a huge fight like because john had to get this ball rolling shit happened <laughs> it wasn't good and like that's why like you know i have not talked to paul since september and like paul was my friend for seven years but, but sometimes you have to cut the fucking cord and people they, yeah. they yell at me like oh you defend your friends no matter what no matter what but don't forget i was the one that called paul out after the whole fucking shit i was the one that did that you're the one that told that he all along had not been missing and that he was, was never missing never why are you mad at him no he wasn't ever missing why are you pissed off you chose you should be pissed off at him but you are because you were still trying to figure out how you could make this a bigger story when you realized he was never missing. And he made, he made the whole world believe court. that he was missing and dead. And Karini was part of it. Karini posted that he was dead. Well, I think Paul has a, a upper hand on Karini. Uh, Karini did not post that he was dead. Did she have some questionable posts? Absolutely. Absolutely. Some ones that you side eye really hard? Absolutely. She never actually came out and said he was dead. Karini, because she he's abusive. Flat out abusive. Karini posted that. that Paul was dead and his kids will miss him. Huh? That's that's on Karini. Maybe she was trying to cover for him, thinking, I, mean, I don't know, there's no thought. Maybe they had agreement that if she would do this, then he would let her and the kids leave to go back. I don't know. I mean, there's no telling with those two. See what? Because, with that logic, I'll say, I'll go live right now on my channel and say, you're dead and Godspeed. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, it, I mean, like, I guess we could. <laughs> like, it's that you know. At least it'd be interesting. Paul <laughs> is somebody who like has been off the show for years now, hey, Sophie. and and want, want. Y Yes, pick me. Absolutely. Please hit the like button. Thanks, Sarah. Is Sophie here? Oh, oh Sophie. My, oh my God, Sophie, my sweetheart. You are I knew my, you were going to say Sophie. I thought you were going to say Sophie, my angel. <laughs> yeah, I love Sophie. And like, I've not been on, I, I, I've been sick and uh, never mind. Um, but I, I've missed Sophie's lives and um, I'm so happy to see you, Sophie. Like, and like, um, when you, never mind. Um, she, I'm sure she understands. Um, she knows, but like, I, you know, I love my Sophie. And like, so I thought, I thought that, um, um, Sophie looked at your text. I thought that Ashley like, looked like the speaking image of Sophie in that new text. Um, uh, everybody says Sophie looks like Ashley. Everybody yeah. says it's well, No, Sophie. Ashley looks like Sophie because Ashley, you know, Sophie's a little bit. Uh, it never occurred to me that Ashley and Sophie looked like. I don't, um, if my memory serves correct, they don't look alike. They just both have, um, long hair. That's well, one's is, is, you know, blonde enough. And the other one's is really, really blonde. <laughs> I, otherwise, yeah, I don't. A little bit older. So, uh, yeah, but like, you know, I saw Ashley. has been to drag through the mud uh, through this whole Angela thing saying, of course, this lady, there's just a, a yes man for Angela and John. And like, they're even going after Sophie for the situation. Like, what the hell was she supposed to do in it? What was she supposed to do? She wasn't there. She doesn't know the situation. She was just up on panel to be supportive because she's normally on that panel. You know, <laughs> It's crazy. Like, you know, I could, like, you know, I could have done the live with Angela from my fucking laptop right there on my, you know, and, but like Angela's family and, you know, Angela is a tough bitch. And I've only heard Angela sob twice. 
the first time was when I showed her the pictures and the text and the audio of what I got from Michael. Um, and I sent it to her. That was the first time. John has no bedside manner. I can't even imagine how he told Angela that Michael was cheating on her. Um, crazy. Hey, Jesse Sparkle. That's what she posted. Yes, Jesse, I knew she posted. And then she said that. And then she also posted like, but not in a row, like a few posts later, she was um, advertising an insurance company, a, a life insurance company, I think. Um, which I, I imagine was she was paid to do. But people, you know, because of the timing of, of, of her first post and then not knowing where he was and all that it just yeah it just blew up but you are you are correct and thank you time and the second time was just now and you know you may think angela is like the meanest woman on earth but i heard her cry and i knew that she was hurting and like for you know for someone so strong to cry and sob i'm like i'm on my way you know, it was it had nothing to do about going live or getting a story. I still have all of her story screenshots, all of the recordings that he made and everything. And I keep wanting to go in and listen to him and make some kind of, you know, pre-recorded video of that whole mess. And I just, I haven't yet, but I've got, yeah, I saved all of that stuff. It was very strange. But even if it was, what the fuck? Who cares? Yeah, but if, at the end of the day, if you think about it, what if she had not tried to do everything she could to locate Michael? Like, go on your channel, which you're the biggest channel with, I mean, out of bloggers. Well, you're one of the biggest channels and you're her closest friend. No, I have the, I, I have the OG blogger right. by well, She would have dragged her for field if she had not gone live and had begged the public to help, ask her for help at the same time. She, so. you know, she, but she knew, like, you know, um, she didn't know if he went back to Nigeria or, or, you know, so, like, you know, and I had resources when Paul was missing. And, like, we, we you know, and the funny thing is, Siwa, is that, um, you know, after me going live for like two days about Paul, Paul resurfaced, didn't he? Yeah, because the heat was, the, the kid, the, the stove was turning up. And it, it was, was well fed and, you know, uh, live it, looking good. And like, you know, there was- I no mean, you were looking at graphs and locations. For I was, I, I GPS locations. I, I had like, you know, Juliana from 90 Day, Carmen from 90 Day, Larissa from 90 Day. Like, well, you know, they, 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 all, they all speak Portuguese and like, you know, and like they were trying to find, and like I had like the, uh, a team going, you know, and then I had like Angela, Angela got a psychic and they like, tried to find where he was, you know, it was like a big fucking thing. And like, you know, uh, when I care about somebody, like that's the thing, like, you know, like, you know, I cared about Paul. I thought he was dead. Karini said. Angela got Psychic Tracy. Is that her name? Psychic Tracy on the job. <laughs> he was dead. Karini said, oh, our kids will miss their father. He was a good dad. R.I.P. What? Right. Which is so, what the fuck? Yes. So like, and like Paul was my buddy and like for seven years and I will never forgive him for that. Never, never, ever, ever will forgive him for that. Like we're done. And I have not talked to him. He had actually been missing. He would have been forever grateful. The family would have been forever grateful. Everybody would have, you know, said, John, you know, got him help or if he had actually been missing, you would have been the hero, right? But because it was a ruse all along, I think he knew from the jump what was going to happen and that you were going to step in and try to get help. And he was willing to put that on you. No, I don't think it that way. I think that he, like, he thought he was going to get away with it. He probably told Karina, like, you know, listen, say I'm like missing or something like that. And, um, like, yeah. you know, let's, let's get some news about us because, you know, um, but, like they probably like you said like they didn't really that, that i would go so deep into like trying to find him yeah. and that's the only reason why angela was like well you 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 found paul you got paul to resurface so you know i need you to help you with michael and um okay. he was there and you know it only took like a couple hours after the first live i did at angela's house too and like by the way those angela lives weren't even monetized i made nothing off those by the way after Dumb -dumb. <laughs> you got a lot of views on those i hope you're monetized did you monetize them afterwards afterwards yeah but okay. like you know it, like when it happened, like no, like you know, because I just I didn't even think about it, but like yeah, like um, weren't even monetized. Those lives I did were not even monetized. Like you know, I don't even think about that. Yeah, I don't think I saw not one single super chat, super sticker, nothing through them. Not even monetized. I didn't like make dick off that. Like you know, and like one got sixty thousand views, and the other one, like. Very good point, Toya. Very good point. He's revising history. Like, I think 45,000 or something like that, but, like, weren't, like, no ads, like, nothing, like, weren't monetized, and, like, I was just there, because, like, you know, I was there for my friend and my sister, Angela, and, um, people just want to just assume the worst of fucking me, and, like, you know, Wet Sock's making a lot of money off this shit, ain't he? Oh, yeah, every day, new video of the same, just, the same stuff, Angela's abusive, Michael's a victim, Scotty's- Uh, now you're gonna make fun of Wet Sock's videos, he actually does all that editing and- so much creativity like his videos are really good his thumbnails are amazing i wish i could do uh thumbnails like that and see what you were just over on his page 
talking about how amazing um his thumbnail was of Angela going crazy. You loved it. Like literally. And now you're with John, like, yeah, I don't ever. Blah, blah, blah. Right? You still get the super chats even when it's not monetized. He's a monster. John's the yes man. It's just All right. So, like, you know what? Then maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll do a wet sock video. You know, I didn't want to fight this motherfucker. I didn't want to fight him. But, like, you know, uh, like, I'm not, like, it's just. I would just let him know, John, because if you go after wet sock, you're just going to get all that, that his following to. Start coming at you what, even harder. You, so. mean? you fight up, not down, Siwa. That's what I always told you. You fight up, not down. You fight up. And I mean, he does real work. He's a real channel. He doesn't go live and just bitch people out. He doesn't go live and and half ass cover the shows. Like he's a real, real, real YouTuber. And like if he wants to keep coming at me, like I thought he made is there is there a lot of videos he's made against me now? <laughs> Well, they're they're geared towards Angela, but you're mentioning every single one of them, of course. Oh, okay. Well, God, I, I wish people. Could... <laughs> wow, someone who poses as Nicholas. Nicholas. It's part two of last week. Um, when he was on Siwa's. Um, it was from March 18th. It's fun, and when you're not, mm -mm 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 -mm. like you know, you're a fucking liar. I can't stand liars. I fucking hate them. Um, but. I did what I did. Like he, went, he, went, he, went, uh, he went after Jules. He's gone after Sophie. Of course, Scotty. Red you, yeah, he's gone after Jules and Sophie. How does he know Jules and Sophie? Because they were on your panel with Angela. So they call, they say they're just a, a crew of yes men that back up everything Angela does because you do and whatnot. She was so jealous that she didn't make it onto Wet Sob's video. <laughs> She's so jealous. That's why she had to hashtag him in the interview. Because she had to bitch about me, blah, blah, blah. And then as she's bitching about me, and I, Wet Sock didn't even mention my name, she's hashtagging him. <laughs> I can't. The hypocrisy of this dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. I said it again. Stop. This stupid idiot bitch. It's so hard. But they used clips of both. And he said how uh, Jules is just a beast who won't show her face on camera. So it's, it's not been the nicest, but it's to be expected from people who, I mean, from him. I mean, he's never had, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. He is not Nicholas Cage's son. It's a lie. I think we know he's not Nicholas Cage's son. He is not Jade. He is not his son. He's a, he's a nobody with bad hair. Oh, my God. A liar. You know what? I am Mar Mariah Carey's son, um, and we have the same birthday. So um, <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. I cannot. I, this is news to me. I cannot. Yeah, let me, I'm going to look up see how many he, how many videos he's done so far about the situation. Well, I think. And it's, I think every it's time he puts, every time he puts your videos out, the whole he does a premiere. The whole chat is full of all your naysayers, and then every comment, like not every comment, but I would say about thirty percent of all his. comments. Oh my god, he's got so many people in there, and there might be like thirty of us in there, um, if that even, maybe five people in the chat. And then everybody else in the chat are names that I don't even recognize whenever I'm watching it. Like, I don't recognize almost all the names in his chats. Literally. Maybe it's just me, but I, I don't recognize most of the names in his chats. She's so jealous. Comments are people from this community, I know you hate that word, but talk a shit about you. you know what? I, I, I never had to be famous and lie about a famous parent. <laughs> like, like, um, you know what, guys? I, I, I've had a secret this whole time, and I want you to be—I want you to know about it. Like, you know, I didn't want to play this card, but um, my mother never killed herself. I have a secret. Oh, Lord. My mother is Meryl Streep, and um, she's very much alive, and um, she's my mama. And well, Meryl um, Streep, son, you want to hear the titles of the videos? It's yeah. Angela. I'm sorry, Rainbow. I hope you feel better. And John, you're a disgusting fuck to say shit like this about your mom. Leave your mother rest in peace. Piece of shit. Cheated on Michael for years. 90 Day Fiance happily ever ever. Next video. Uh, Angela threatens Michael's friends and other 90 Day cast members. The very next video. And this is daily. Michael escapes Scotty Dean the kid toucher. The next video. Michael escape. Oh, sorry. The next video is Michael ran away from Angela and her disgusting daughter. Next video. Abuse of Angela Dean thinks Michael's slow and gay. Night, uh, quote, 90 Day Fiance. Next one. Michael's free from his abuser, Angela Dean. Next one. Michael escaped the Dirty Bird Dungeon. And then one talk about Mary, whoever Mary is. Then the one after that is Angela Dean kept Michael prisoner in her home. And then go with a little free video down. Michael ran away because Angela's abusive. Uh, so that's how many videos he's done since the whole thing started. Okay, so this motherfucker wants to play. Okay, you know, I, I was not going to do anything about it because, like, you know, like, I'm trying to take the high road. But you know what? At this point, let's play. Let's play a little bit with this one.
Let's just play out. some. Oh, 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 wait. I opened up Instagram and they're reaching out to help me again. So everything. Oh my God, you're not Nicholas Cage's son. You're not. Stop making videos on me, wet soccer. Because you're not Nicholas Cage's son. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Like he doesn't even have true information. What the fuck? How are you gonna play with wet wet sock and giving you the fucking time of day? You think you are such a loser and not a blogger? The the lack of respect um that you have in the true 90-day community of creators is none. 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 None of the nine, none of the actual creators who truly focus on 90 day content think that you are any good. They don't think you're a blogger. They pretty much think what we think. <laughs> you're a big old loser. We're going to open Instagram. I report you again. Again. Uh, again. Uh, I don't even know how they get that done. I, I, really I don't, don't know either. either. And to be honest with you. But let's play now. Let, let's just fucking do it, because, you know, I can only take so much. And, like, I thought maybe, like, one video he did was, like, enough. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to fight this guy, but, like, you know, it, it's clear that he's not going to drop this. So, um... Just and, no doxing, and we're good. No, you're, like, you fly up, not down, and... Oh, no, don't dox over here, please. I don't know. Dox what? I don't know. What, your wet sock, whatever his name is? I don't know. I don't even know his name. I don't oh, know his okay. name. All right. Then we're good. All I know is that he's, he's not Nick Cage's son. <laughs> there you, you heard it here, folks. He is not Nick Cage's son. So it's, like, the he's opposite not. of doxing. <laughs> Burn! He is making him go back to being an anonymous person because he's not Nicolas Cage's son. Okay, oh, I'm doing a story. Okay, um, okay, what sock? Let me see here. Um, Lord, I can't even think real quick. Um, let me see here. Well, if your dad is Nick Cage, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. I should, I should say Nicholas, you know, because proper Nicholas. To looking up Nick, he's looking it up to see if he's Nick Cage's son. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he's still, he really is going to use this to try. To <laughs> I don't know what this Nick Cage stuff is. I don't know if maybe it was a joke or something. I don't know why. John always tends to pick the things to fight with that are like really stupid and pointless whenever people are telling the truth on him. He's obsessed with this, and I'm sure that it's nothing. And he's obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, look who's saying one video on the guy is enough. Both of them. Both of them are, uh, okay. <laughs> if your dad is Nicolas Cage, then my mom is Meryl Streep. Game on, what's suck? Ooh, watch oh, that. He watches your... Um... John's coming for your fake dad, Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Next thing he's going to tell you is, your dad, Nick Cage, doesn't even like you. Hmm. <laughs> I called your dad, Nick Cage, and he said that you're a jerk. Hmm. And he said he's not your dad. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Instagram, and, and Angela, so I'm sure that'll be in the next video. Well, I blocked him from Instagram. Well, he still has a way of looking. He sees every post that you made. He saw the post that you made saying, I'm tired of people painting. Sorry. Yeah, the, the video say, uh, the post that you made saying, I'm tired of people painting Michael as a saint. This is what he's done about the infidelity situation. Oh, so. he's a real dick. Oh, he's really dicky. Okay. Okay, bitch. It's a, look at my story. We'll, we'll go look at it. Okay. Someone's so knocking on the door. Someone's ringing the bell. I forgot. Oh, my God. You're right. He does know Oscar winners. So he can just call Nick on the phone. I did. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, if your dad's Nicholas Cage, my mom's Meryl Streep. Game on, but suck. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, tell your mom she was great in that movie. Death Becomes Her. We're all big uh, fans. Yeah, well, you know, that's my mom. So, and, and she appreciates that. Thank you. Yes, she. I want to famous mom. Britney Spears is my mom, y'all. This is fuck with stalker. I can't believe this asshole. You were like texting. I thought you knew about it. I didn't know I was breaking news. I, I, I knew like that he'd like one live about me, like, but I thought that was it. But like now he wants to fuck with me, like you know, over and over again. Like fuck you. Okay. Well, like I said, I want to make it clear the videos aren't just John Yates. You know, they're they're all they're all geared toward Angela and Michael and the and Scotty. But everyone he does mention about that live and how you're the yes man and you you know back up the abuse and that you co-sign everything and that you'll never call her out or whatnot. Abuse going on now, other than what he saw on TV. Okay, she just mentioned Britney Spears. I got another cover to play. 
One more song. Let's see. Let's see. See here. Here we go. This one. Oops. Okay. Share this. This isn't the one I want. Just a sec. Look, damn it. I do not want Kung Fu Panda. Okay, we'll do the short version. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? That something wasn't right Oh baby, baby I shouldn't have let you go And now you're out of sight Show me how you want it to be Yeah, tell me baby Cause I need to know now Because my loneliness is killing me about kung fu panda but i love uh tenacious d and jack black in that uh version <laughs> i've never seen any kung fu pandas i'm not really into the um cartoon movies because i've never had kids um but thank you for humoring me and watching that back to jy And we've only got about uh, less than 10 minutes left of this. What does he know? What does he know? Was he there? None of us really know because we, we haven't heard from Michael. None of us have been there, so no one really knows. The only ones that know are the ones that live in that household, really, or the ones that have been there around, both of them. I was, you know, that's my thanks for taking, you know, for going, taking the fucking high road. Never take the fucking high road, everybody. Never take it, because taking the high road sucks, and you fucking lose. Take the low, 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 low road. Take it every fucking time, because when you try to be like the better person, people shit down your fucking throat. So never take the fucking high road. Oh, my God. John, has John ever actually taken the high road? I mean, I guess he thinks he has. But the little shit that pisses you off and makes you betray people um, is already a low, 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 low road. I don't really know how much lower of a road you can take. I don't want to, and I don't want to know because I'm sure somehow you'll find a way to make the road that you're on even fucking lower. High road, especially here on fucking YouTube. Never take it because people just, they don't give a fuck. Putting on my community tab too. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fucking asshole. I wonder what account he uses to look at your page. He's blocked. Well, he's not blocked. I removed him as a follower and I went private. Oh, okay. Uh, so let me put that on my community tab because fuck him. So wet um, and I, I'm fighting up, so I, I mean I can't lose on this one. <laughs> you don't, you know, I, I've been fighting down my whole time with Maria against Maria. With everyone, and yeah. Brooke. I've been fighting down this whole fucking time, so here's my chance to fight up. So I'm gonna take it now. Fuck you. Fuck you. How's that working for you, John? You haven't really done shit. Uh, 
to fight him since you all your big talk here just go to it go into it knowing that he has a strong following if that's but because i just they, they what's pretty, his name your wet sock oh, there yes your wet sock let me see no i hate all this hold on delete okay um community tab can you hear me yes okay i can't tell all right Okay, post. Like, you know, I, I you know, it was, it's been two weeks with him. So, like, you know, what the fuck am I going to do now? Like, you know, I, I thought I was being the better person. And fuck him. And my mom, Meryl, will take care of it. If I can't. And that's how I out. Huh? I tried to take the high road. I really fucking did. I did. I tried. And, like, this this asshole who, who claims to be Nicolas Cage's son, like, wants to keep coming after me? Well, fuck you. Well, are you, are you maybe going to watch the videos first before you go to war, or? No, I don't. I don't need to. Fuck okay. him. What, what do I need to watch, Siwa? What? I mean, I'm not going to turn around and say he's nice to you in any way, shape, or form. He's definitely not. He's definitely Has he been nice to me at all in, in, in these videos? Was he nice to oh, me? Oh, no. He's not oh, been nice to me. Why, why, why do I need to watch it? Why? I don't know. Just to see if it's, as, I don't know. Like, I don't, to see if it's worth it, Wait, I guess. Here's the difference between me and him, Siwa, and me and the haters. Like, you know, I don't need to watch that. I, I don't need to listen and, to the haters. I don't. I don't. Because they're haters and they're liars. Like, you know, um, and <laughs> that's it. Like, like, you know, you want to lie about me and, like, be a dick? Well, I, I could post all the screenshots and ask me for information. Sure can. Sure, I feel sad that y'all used to be friends and uh, y'all used to talk to each other about being bloggers and whatnot. Yeah, well, I have the bigger IG following and he has a bigger YouTube following, so we're kind of like at odds at that point. But like you know, we were never like you know mean to each other. Like you know, we were friendly and um. Y'all just I, share I, tips with each other, like information. Yeah, and I just oh. never needed to like lie about having a, a celebrity be my my dad. I never had to. Do people really think that Nicholas Cage is his dad? No. They do. They really think that. All, you, all, all they would have to do is go Google it and see that that's not his son. It's crazy. Well, it's it's. Uh, Alex, I feel bad. You know, I thought you knew about all the videos. I, well, I knew he made like one video about me. No, I didn't know there were several. I like you know, and like I saw you posted something like on your like you did a short earlier mm -hmm. today about like it. And, like, uh, I thought like, I was you know, just talking about the response. Yeah. You know, I I, I had no intentions on. <laughs> Uh, zero. I like. I just thought, like, you know, you know, he he felt a certain way about him, and you know, it, that's okay. If like you want to believe Michael, then that's on you. Believe Michael, like you know. But like for him to keep attacking me, well then fuck you. Like now, you know, like have you met me? What fuck? Do you do you know what I'm about? Because I will fucking eviscerate you. And now that I'm fighting up, then I hope I get your fucking subs and followers. So fuck you. <laughs> Tmr. Hey, not that one. Was that one? No, there it is. Wow, he <laughs> wow, he showed Wet Sock. He posted it on his IG where Wet Sock is blocked. Although Wet Sock obviously has ways to get stuff, which anybody that wants to see your IG can has ways to get stuff. John, I'm blocked and I can get stuff. So I'm sure somebody as important as Wet Sock, Wet Sock gets it way easier. Asshole. Dick. <laughs> well, I, he's I put up posts asking, "What do y'all want me to make a video about today? Do we want to talk?" Because he calls Angela Dirty Bird. He's like, "Do you want to talk about Dirty Bird, or do you want to talk about Mary from 90 Day Fiance, or do you want like?" And constantly, Ari's like, "No, uh, Angela, 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 Angela." They're all so I guess he's just giving, giving to whatever his followers are asking for. Bam! Right there, I'm giving my subscribers also what they're asking for. Siwa and John, I did a poll last week and asked them if they wanted to watch you. Or if they wanted to watch some me cover somebody else, or if they wanted me to cover a third person, and it was an overwhelming, overwhelming John Yates, overwhelming. I have a feeling if I gave people an option every day, they'd probably pick you. So see what I'm giving my subscribers what they want.
but it's it's pretty. I mean, he's milking the situation as long as he can. I think because he's a fucking bullshit YouTube blogger. Like you know, and he has like you know three hundred thousand subs as a lot of people. Like you know, I'm not gonna lie and say that's not impressive. It is. Yes, um, that's got a strong channel. Uh, but like you know, fuck him. You know, um, I you know I'm strong on him on Instagram, and um, you know if he wants to run to YouTube, you know, and and Wet Sock never goes live either. He does like pre-recorded videos, pre -recorded all videos. bullshit, all edited. He does not allow. John, you have no idea how hard pre-recorded videos are. And you are so fucking lazy, you can barely turn a computer on, much less make a pre-record. So your asshole self trying to trying to talk shit on somebody who takes the time to make pre-records. I mean, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. Even on this bullshit community, it's not easy because it takes 10 years to find all the freaking screenshots and all the proof that you need to, to make shit sometimes. Like I've been working on a I've been working on a pre-record for two days and have probably spent in those two days eight to ten hours, I bet, working on this thing. Um it's 10 minutes of content and I still have to go in and do voiceovers on shit and then it'll be done. But pre-records are not like everybody, everybody with half a brain obviously is going to know that pre-records are way harder than just hitting a live button. Especially when you hit a live button because you're drunk and you just want to shit talk. That isn't content. It's non-tent. Allow anyone to like, you know, give a comment at all because he's a pussy. And anyone who pretends to be the son of a famous act Oscar winning actor is a pussy. And like, you know what? I'm, I'm the son of Meryl Streep. That's my new thing. I'm Meryl Streep's son. And I lied about my mom. And um, Meryl Streep's my son, my mom. And she has three Oscars, more than Nicolas Cage. And I'm good. I'm good. I win. And Meryl Streep has three. Nicolas Cage has one. So. Well, at least for my dad. And he rules the underworld. So I win because I'm always talking to demons, according to people. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's five o'clock in the fucking morning. I yes, go. it is. It is. I'm going to drop down. See what? Are you going to keep this up? Yeah. Please, please keep it up. I, I, I when I get paid on the twenty first, I'm gonna send you some money because I, you know I probably ruined your chat with my. You probably did. Mm -hmm. I'll send you a little gift on the twenty first, and um, you know, like fucking. See what did you get that money on the twenty first? Did John send you some money? Did he pay you to keep this up? I like game on, motherfuckers. Like, I, like I didn't, I didn't want to go down this road with him, and um, but I could have. 25 cast members speak on my behalf against him right now as we speak. So if he wants to play, like, you know, um, Nick Cage's son, then, like, you know, he's as delusional as Nicolas Cage is with his fucking, with his fucking facelift and his fucking, his, his, his fucking hair that goes down to his earlobes, like Brooke, and they all deserve each other. So. He's got more hair than Brooke. What the fuck did Nick Cage ever do to you, John? Mr. Obsessed? Let's be honest. <laughs> Better eyebrows, too. <laughs> I had a great time on this live, Siwa. Thank you no, for nice having me. And also, thank you for letting me explain everything. Like, you know, people are going to, like, you know, people have their thoughts about me. But, like, whatever. It's cool. Like, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. Thank you for giving me the um, the platform to say this. Like, you know, I probably could do it on my platform, which is bigger. But um, I, 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 you know, I, I just... No, I enjoyed the conversation and hearing what your thoughts are behind the whole Angela and Scotty. And, and Ashley, I actually enjoyed finding out because those are, I mean, I've been curious how things are behind the scenes. Wet Sock already won. Wet Sock won before John ever even came to, into his universe with having 300k subs um wet socks celeb guy john all started on youtube about the same time and two of those creators have well over 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 100k i don't know where celeb guy celeb talk guy is but wet sock he just said has 300k wet sock probably or i'm sorry celeb talk guy probably has at least 200 if not also close to 300 and John, this is where John is talking to Siwa. <laughs> this is John's lose, loser dumb being stuck talking to Siwa while all these other real 90 day content creators have, have just flourished and become quite successful. Seems when no one's there. Yeah, and um, you know, only me. You know, these these other bloggers like Wet Sock or who or Moving Mad, like they, they've never met these people in real life. They don't know what they're fucking talking about. You know, like I know I've had my share of like defending cast members like that that probably should not have been defended, but like you know, mm -hmm. it, you you need to like you know when you meet these people in real life and you see what they're about, it's it's very fucking different. Like when I'm in Angela's house and I see like you know like the love and the family like with the grandkids and you know she's an amazing fucking you know nobody knows how hard Angela works. 
you know, she pays for, like, everything. Six grand, like, it, she she really does do her, you know, she wants to make her family great. And, you know, it, it just makes well, me... Well, I know really, she stepped up to the plate for the grandkids when they needed her, so... Yeah, and it makes me really, you know, fucking mad <laughs> when I hear, like, things about her, like, you know... Does she want to make her family great again? <laughs> I cracked myself up. That was stupid. Okay, two minutes left on this. <laughs> and she was also, like, a hospice nurse, you know, like, you know... Angela's dealt with, like, you know, being, being someone who works with hospice, like, you know, you know that they're at the end of their road, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can't even imagine being, like, that type of nurse, like, where, like, you know, you are dealing with people who are about to die. Like, you know, it's, Angela's a good woman. She is. And, like, you know, despite what people think about her, she's, she's a good woman. And, like, you know, you're watching shit on TV. And, like, you know, had Michael been so abused, he would never have left Nigeria and moved into her house. And that's that's the end point on that one. Like, if, you know, we, we watched Michael and Angela fight for seven years, and, you know, Michael was always, like, in, you know, his country and was protected, and Angela came once a year, but Michael liked the money from the show. Michael liked the women talking to him. Michael liked all of it. Michael moved, he liked it so much, he moved I to Angela's house. he thought it was just going to be better when they got together in the USA. I oh, think he see, thought like, no, no, it was no, going to no, go no, better. No, 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 no. Like, oh, come on. These people that were saying, like, you know, Angela abused him for seven years, like, you know, it was still Michael's choice to move here. So Michael was playing the long fucking game. He was. And, like, yeah, has, has Angela been, like, too much with Michael? Absolutely. Oh. Like, absolutely. Absolutely, Angela. Like he says, she could be vicious, and she, she definitely could be vicious, and Michael's been at the, the, uh, the majority of that. So, I mean, we all know that she could be vicious. Um, it's not a secret, but to the people are trying to say, oh, she caved him? No. Yeah, no. Let's, no. To, let's case on a little bit. Let me call the cops. And when I went down there, it was because she called me, and she said, Michael's missing. He's gone. We can't find him. I need your help. And I drove down there the second I got that phone call. It wasn't for a fucking live. If I cared about doing a big live. You did not drive down there the second you got that phone call. You fucking liar. <laughs> you fucking liar. You did not drive down. In fact, you managed to do one stream at home Friday night and then a stream in the car Saturday night. You didn't fucking go right down. You knew Friday night. You were laughing. You were excited. You knew Michael was gone and you were excited to get down there and report on it. Like I would have, I would have had a haircut. I would have like worn on a nice shirt. Like okay. I, had, I, had, I, had, I had not slept. I, we drove down there. I had not. I drove the whole way down there, fourteen hours. Had not slept. Went live about it. Then like you know when like Michael called the cops and said he was alive. Then went live again. Like you know I would not have ever ever if I was caring about. You went live again five hours later. You said he called five minutes after the live ended. Nobody believes you. Everybody thinks he called like 10 minutes or 15 minutes before the live ended. But regardless, it's not that big of a deal um, whether it was, you know, right before the live ending because I can see why you just want to not even it, what it, like I would have thought though it would take you five hours knowing that Michael was alive. <laughs> not that you didn't know this the whole time, but um, why did it take you five hours? What kind of stories were you concocting and changing and doing that it took you five hours to come back when you, you, you had that news for five hours? About like, you know, looking good and getting views and clicks, I would have looked my best. And you saw me, I look like who did and fucking ran at her house. So, like, don't tell me I went down there just because I wanted clicks and fucking views. And fuck you, Wet Sock. And you're a liar. And you're not Nick Cage's son. And um, I'm Meryl Streep's, I'm, I'm Meryl Streep's daughter. And um, there we are. Yes. And now I'm a daughter. I, 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 now I identify as uh, Meryl Streep's daughter. So, there it is. So, um, I'm Johnny Yates. There you go, being um, transphobic again. And that's what's up. So, there we go. All right. Hey, six gun sweetie. All right, Dom, we'll go get you some rest. It was nice to chat with you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Awesome. Love you, sweetheart. Bye. All right, bye. And there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. I don't know what. Jeez. So that was the big, the big Angela, or not, sorry, the big, um, The big John and Siwa conversation. Jeez. They wake up 3 p.m. He wasn't even awake that long. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, Six Gun. But E11 is going to be live um, in like an hour. 
I don't know. Hopefully, um, either Ann and Maria or Brooke or Vault or anybody or or Georgie goes live later. Um, let's see, was there anything? Oops, I wanted to. No, I guess that's it. So, um, oh, I've got, so I've got this one short coming out in a little bit that I showed you guys. And then I think I'm going to make another short too. You moved it up to 2.30. Oh, you might move it up to 2.30. Cool. So in 30 minutes. Awesome. Let me get your link and drop it. Let's see here. I've been singing this uh, Britney Spears song all weekend, and I don't even like Britney Spears, but I like the versions of Baby Hit Me One More Time that are, are done like by uh, rock people. Another cover, another band did a cover of that a while ago. It was really good. What did I just say I was looking for? Shit, I don't even know. All right. <laughs> Oh, I was looking for E11. Oh, thank you, Pippi. I started talking. I was looking for something, and I forgot, but that's what it was. Thank you. So, yep, E11 will be live in about 30 minutes. It's Brittany, bitches. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I was listening to like rock and like Soundgarden and all, and Alice in Chains and all that shit in the 90s while others were listening to Britney Spears. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Iris Lass, you got a membership. Thank you so much. Um, I think that is all my thank yous, but let me double check. I don't want to miss somebody if I do. Channel. What's wrong with it? I want to miss somebody. Oops, sorry. Okay, yep, just Irish Last, thank you so much for becoming not a dirty bitch. Now you're officially not a dirty bitch. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. And to my mods, thank you. Um, Pippi, thanks for per fixing Brooke. It was really weird. I didn't even know I had that power in the backstage to do that. And I guess now I do know that I can block just from um, from the streaming service, but I didn't realize that. So I don't even – I still really didn't even know how I did it. I, what? Let me see. Oh, so if I accidentally – Oh. All right, now I can't even find what I saw that made me accidentally do that. I don't know. Okay, you all have a great day. I am sure I will see you around in these streets. And thank you very much for coming, and I will be back soon.